Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a small class C with a full wall slide. What's really exciting is we haven't had very many small class C's in a while because they sell so freaking fast. So I'm really excited to show you guys this one. This is a 2022 Jayco Redhawk model 24B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Red Hawk and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a small Class C motorhome. It's what people are asking for and we're trying to deliver it for you guys. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. We are here at RV1 in Tampa. Yes! And we are excited to be home. Yes! Doing reviews again. And I am excited to do this Jayco. Yeah! You know, we don't get to see them very often. Right, right. So you guys, I hope you're excited. We are. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Jayco Redhawk 24B. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 26 feet 8 inches. This is Jayco Redhawk. It's Jayco's entry level motorhome, also their smallest motorhome. What I do love is they do the seamless fiberglass front cap. So if you look right here, there's no seams right here. This is the part that normally would leak the most in a Class C motorhome. They actually cap it where the seam is under there. This is powered on an E450 chassis. I love that a lot of manufacturers will, on this size of a motorhome, will use an E350. It's gonna give you a higher cargo carry capacity. It does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the hand cooked. Dyna Pro. Yes, LT 225-75R16. Right here, we do have the nice oversized uh, mirrors right here. And then new for 2021 part two, Andrea, it's right here. These side cameras. Now you have cameras on the left side, right side, and the reverse side, which is very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. And Matt, you forgot to mention the two to three year structural, structural tip to tip warranty. Yes. Okay. Jayco and Integra are really good about that. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, it does have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And then also Jayco uh, adds the J-Ride system to it, which is a computer balanced drive shaft system, making this one of the better class C's on the market today to, to drive. And then right there, Andreas, propane. And here, bing, is all the specifications from Jayco's website about this unit. Speakers on the outside here, okay. We do got a little bit of storage there. A little bit. A little something. Water heater right there. I wish they did continue the decal. Over here, we do got some more storage. Just tiny bits, Andre, and not Very much tiny. at all. Got some um, spe another speaker, got a... Propane quick connect, yep. And yeah, you know, not a ton of storage at all. Hopefully there's more on the other side. We shall see. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 7,500 pound hitch. Now, uh, no, Jayco says that they can tow 7,500 pounds. Matt's not saying that. Matt's saying 5,000 pounds. If you want to tow anything more than 5,000 pounds, please make sure you weigh your motor home uh, no, in minus, yeah. No before you tow. No before you tow, baby. And then uh, we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece. I believe they use a TPL roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. And there is your backup camera right there, everyone. Matt, you better hold oh, on. Andrea, there's your backup camera right there. <laughs> here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPL roof. One AC unit, guys. This is a 30 amp small motor home. King Air digital antenna. Three cutouts, if no, two cutouts 
if you did want to add Max Air fan covers. And then right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Last step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Okay, here's all your hookups. Black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Outdoor shower, unleaded fuel. Place for you to dump your black and gray tank right there. Okay. And then here's some Here we exterior go. storage. Decent, but still. Not I've, a lot. Yeah, not a lot at well, all. Well, it's 26 feet, so it's it's probably gonna be. Right here's your 30 amp house. power cord. Okay. And then right here, Andreas, your Onan 4000 QG generator. And I like that it's vented. Yes, ma'am. And then just a tiny bit more storage. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome was great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, we do have a winner from the Star Wars contest. Uh, make sure you guys stay to the end of the video and we'll announce who, was, who the winner was. Get the cargo carrying capacity. 3,162 pounds. Wow. That is huge. That is huge for this little motorhome. Okay, guys, coming in. You can see that the slide is in. Yes. Oops, excuse me, Andre. Okay, look at this walkway. Yes. Wow. Okay, walking in, in here is no problem. Um, we got the bathroom and we have the bed that is foldable on the slide yes okay not my favorite but i understand and then andrea while the slide out's coming out i want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode this episode of matt's rv reviews was sponsored by dan the detailer and it's a matter of details so dan is a fan of the show and he does detailing in the charlotte north carolina area and he did a phenomenal job detailing will's truck while we were there filming. His phone number is 704-657-1610. That's his personal cell. He details both cars and RVs in his state-of-the-art detail center, which is located at 110 Oak Park Drive, Suite 105 in Mooresville, North Carolina. So if you have a motorhome or a car that needs to be not detailed, but detailed professionally. Give our guy Dan a call. We appreciate him sponsoring this episode. Great, so Andre, look at how much more spacious it is. Wow. Now that the slide outs are out. That's incredible. Let's get started with this cockpit area. All right, so first and foremost, these seats do swivel, okay? That is awesome. I know, I know everybody's wondering about that. This has your smartphone screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you're gonna need. Uh, again, your cameras for your left side, right side, and the reverse side. Once the video signal's working, of course. Uh, we do have our steering wheel right here. It's the new 7.3 liter V8, very nice. Power mirrors, light controls, everything, cup holders. And then Andrea, could you please step in my co-captain seat? Sure. And it is up a little bit. Yes, it is. Nice cup holders, AC works real well in here. Very, and, very nice. Yes. Lots of space, of course, yes, I am. Is that? Yes, but you, you can um, take the arm thing the on that side and then crank it oh, back. Oh, yes. okay. So it's limited as far as, far as back as it goes. Because it swivels, right. yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad it swivels. Yes. That's awesome. I'm comfortable. I like that there's cup holders here. Mm-hmm. Got a light here. Very nice. Yes. And then above, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab, Andrea. That holds a whopping 750 pounds. 750 pounds, yes. 750 pounds comes with the ladder. Um, you know what? I do, I do like that there is more space right there too. A lot of times when you know you're on that bunk, you kind of feel like you're in a cave yes but you know at least you can sit up a little bit yes well people want to see that now you know what i'm saying i'm five foot five ish um depends on what day of the week it is <laughs> and yeah you know i'm plenty comfortable up here you know i could sleep up here no problem and 
you know, people have just been asking me to go in the bunk over the cab. So if you guys have any other recommendations for the show, something that we're not doing that you want us to see us do, let us know. Let us know. And then you see the pads there for the chairs up here when they do swivel. Yes. There is a cabinet here above the door. I'm going to show that. So there is a little bit of storage there. There's okay. your panel. Okay. Now over here, Andrea, it does come standard with a U-shaped dinette. There is now an option. You can get the theater seats as an option. I think it's pro and a con. The TV is right here and it does kind of swing out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's a really bad TV position for the dinette, but it is pretty decent for if you're sitting there. Farmhouse interior. Andrea, how do you like the balances? Matt, really? <laughs> we want to know. Um, I don't like the balances. Oh, okay. We were just okay. double checking. Andrea's never liked these I'm, balances. I'm ready to see like a, a real farmhouse balance, but that might take a little bit of time. Okay, they got the blinds there. Yep, cup nice holders. window. Cup holders. Uh, what is nice about this dinette? One, sorry, I love the U-shaped dinette. You know, it's comfortable. I got the cushions hugging me all around. It's very nice. Uh, also, this dinette does drop down to make a bed. And it's easy to get in and out because it does swivel. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people can sit around this dinette. And let's see if there's storage underneath. Still no piano hinges. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, Jamie, Cody, when will we see them? Oh, no, this is screwed down. So? Does it pull open like a drawer? It looks like it. No? No. Okay. I do see that there is a little uh, uh, table here, kind of, and we've got storage under here, so that's good. Oh, and Andrea. Yes. There is storage under this side, but again, that's, see, that's such. Okay, you didn't put the board back on. I know, that's such a pain in the butt. You know I what? I think they should just make it a drawer, honestly. Right. And like, that's just so crappy in my opinion. And it's just like a piano hinge would help with that so no, much. I don't even know about piano hinge. I think on some of them where they're easier to take apart, but maybe on this type, it should be a drawer. Oh, 100,000% a drawer. <laughs> well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $125,236, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, we can't advertise sale price right now because it's a current model year, but Andrea, we've now partnered with RVR, which is a network of dealerships nationwide. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, California, Texas, we have a Jayco dealership near you. And with their buying power, they buy the most Jaycos out of everybody. So I know we'll be able to get you guys a phenomenal price. All you have to do, go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab, fill out the form, and somebody from my team will contact you to where you're located to the closest. And if you're not ready to buy and you just have a few questions, click tab number two and three. That sends me an email, and I'm here to help answer your questions. But Andrea, it doesn't matter where you live, what you want to buy, or whenever you're ready, I will always be able to get you guys the best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, here's the kitchen. Yes. Lots of counter space here. We got a cabinet up here with a shelf. One more right here. Okay. We have um, the uh, blinds. Yes, I do like that window there, tower though. Tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power <laughs> right there. Double C. Yes, ma'am. I like the LED lights. Okay. Nice space for a trash can. Sure is. And you got a place for sponges. Yes. And three drawers. Very really nice. Good size cabinet up here okay okay that's a big one and then we've got a microwave three burner um is that Furion Furion. Yes. cooktop yes ma'am lights up sure does and you get an oven nice that's great okay so they gave you the two-way propane and uh it runs off your shore power as well refrigerator yes both propane and electric yes that's what i was looking for <laughs> um yeah, I, I 
I'm not really a fan of the wood, but it's okay because it is white. Yeah. So it looks good. And then this is going to be your bedroom wardrobe or your pantry. Oh, look at this. Yes. I like that. Yes. For your pantry. Okay, so here is a cabinet with shelves in it, which is nice. Very nice. So that's just more storage. Okay. We've got two drawers here, a big drawer here. Yes, ma'am. And are we going in the bedroom oh, now? right there. No, I did that one. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so distracted right now. Not distracted, I'm just confused. <laughs> Sheer confusion. A little bed. Uh, Some right size? here, queen size bed. Yeah. I like how it's like in a little nook. I like how they continue to still give you two windows, which is very nice. That way you don't feel like you're sleeping in a coffin. Okay, you got nice cabinetry above here. And again, this is a nice little like nook style bed. I, I'm actually not hating it. I like the light above the slide. Yes. There's your wardrobe right there okay then we got one over here yes ma'am and then that is the cushion for when the dinette does drop down to make a bed four drawers i like how they do the dark colors right here yeah it kind of gives it some separation between the yes. bedroom and the living they, room yeah definitely and then speaking of separation there is a curtain if this you do privacy have guests. curtain does go around as you see right there yes ma'am yes ma'am let's see this bathroom <laughs> turn the lights on, Matt. What the heck's going on? I don't know. Turn the turn the light on at least. Okay. Let's start with the positives. Okay. 30 by 36 shower, Andrea. A big step up. It's 30 by 36. Okay. Very nice. In a class C, this is the best size to have in a class C. I haven't seen bigger sizes. And then right over here. We've got a nice big medicine cabinet. Yep. Okay. You got a sink sponges and a cabinet underneath yes ma'am i do like that there's a window in here yep and then they also gave you the fan up there and hmm that toilet is plastic is it oh no womp womp plastic womp womp that's crazy and it's in a horrible position like i i would not be able to close the door. Let me see. I mean, no, I can make it work. Yeah, but you'd be really squished, right? No, no. No, it's not in a bad position. When the door is closed, I'm fine. But still, it's plastic. Womp womp. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time to give you three things we love about this, Jayco. Three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Sure. First and foremost, I like to get this out of the way right away. I love the U-shaped dinette. I think the U-shapes are awesome. I love them. I think they're comfortable. I think the U-shaped dinette is the, one of the best features about this motorhome. And I just think it's really, really nice. And it's just my favorite feature. That is number one. Andrea, number two. Uh, what I like about this is even though this is a smaller class C, yes. you're able to get into state national parks. Of course. I like the, the, the counter space they gave you in this kitchen. Andrea, I'm going to combo that with all the space very very nice yes, a lot of times you don't have a lot of counter space and you know the kitchen is so small yeah so i really do like this like this is definitely workable you can do what you need to do yes without feeling crowded yes i agree yes so that's number two and then andrea what i am gonna say is number three is the e450 chassis number three is this huge slide out i mean three thousand pounds of cargo carrying capacity that all has to do with the upgraded 450 chassis. Again, a lot of manufacturers in this price point are doing the E350 just to save a buck and it lowers the cargo carrying capacity. So, so that feature I really do love. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I hate the storage under the U-shaped dinette. I hate the plywood. I hate how it's not on piano hinges. And as Andrea said, there should be a drawer right here. Yes. It's just really a dumb design. I hate the way they do the storage underneath. But again, I must say, I do love that U-shaped dinette. That is number one. Number two, Andrea. I didn't want to say anything about this. Okay. But my dislike is the step up. Okay, right talk to me. Into the shower. It's a big step up. Okay. Okay, it's okay for us youngins and stuff, but if you do have trouble with hips and everything, just, just be aware and try it before you buy it. 
Andre, that's number two, and you might as well just stay the heck where you are. <laughs> okay. What the heck is number three? I gotta say, I'm very disappointed in the toilet. Plastic toilet. And, womp, yeah, womp. Just disappointed in the position of it. Well, I'm almost disappointed in the position of it, but I'm not. Because, again, this is a small motorhome. It is. The position we can live with. If it was... If this was a 30 foot motorhome, I couldn't live in that position. Right. But at this size, I'm fine with the position. But the fact of the matter is, the Red Hawk is most compared to the Integra Odyssey. And the Odyssey puts a porcelain toilet in it. So I think Red Hawk should be putting a porcelain toilet in it. I agree. And, and again, maybe there's a toilet shortage right now. You know, there's a lot of shortages. And maybe it's supposed to be a porcelain toilet. Maybe it was a mistake. Who knows? I want to see porcelain, especially on a motorhome. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. Again, if you're ready to buy it, we have partnered with RVR, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So click tab number one if you're ready to buy. And if you're not ready to buy, click tab two and three and that sends me and Will an email. And we're here to help answer your questions, getting you closer to that buying process. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Jayco does read the comments, so they wanna see what you guys have to say about it. Yes. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. And Andrea, before we go. Oh yeah, the winner. Yes, uh, I do have to announce the winner. We're gonna teleport to my house so I can let you guys at home know all the Star Wars references from our Halloween edition. Okay, so for the Star Wars contest, uh, there was two things that I made very, very tough in the uh, contest. So the first one was this. I believe these doors are made out of Beskar. No, man. And what Beskar is, is the material that a Mandalorian uses um, in, in the uh, TV show Mando. And then this was the toughest one that most people didn't get at all. Pretty uh, wallpaper here with the chair rail. In the master bathroom. This is the way. Wow. This is the way. So notice how I said this is the way twice. Um, cause I really wanted to point that across that, Hey, this is the way that's another, it's a star Wars reference, but that's the Mandalorian reference as well because star Wars universe is so big. So the winner is ST for the contest, death star, Beskar, use the force R2D2 sounds, light of sabers, light of saber sound, Padawan. That was another hard one. When I said me and my Padawan, you know, you know. Me and my Padawan had to uh, go to the Halloween costume contest. Jedi, Cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi costume, Galaxy Far, Far Away, Death Star Details, This Is The Way, and then finally, May of Force Be With You. So, ST, congratulations, great job. Send me an email and we will email you over a $100 Amazon gift card. Congratulations to the winner. Andrea, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll see you next time.